Hello everyone. So welcome to another video of the BMAT 2018 series and we'll be discussing the problem number five in this video. So the problem says that you have a differentiable function and its derivative is continuous and you have that for all x mod of f dash x is from zero to half and you have a real sequence a n so that the first term of the sequence a1 is 1 and the next terms have been recursively defined as a n plus 1 is equals to f of a n for all n in n. And you have to prove that for a, uh, there exists a positive real number m such that for all n in n we have mod of a n is lesser than equals to m. So we have to find this particular m for which this will happen. So let's see how we can do that. So now the question is that how do we attack this problem? So the first thing that you see is that f is differentiable. And also this condition is given. So how do we relate that, I mean those things to this sequential criteria? So the best way is by mean value theorem. Why? Because uh, you will shortly see that. So let's take an interval where we will be applying the mean value theorem. So let x be less than y. And so we have an interval x comma y. That's why I took x lesser than y. Nothing special. So we can have a point C within the interval x comma y such that f of y minus f of x is equals to f dash c times y minus x. So this is just the mean value theorem. So now we can see that this condition here has been given with a mod modulo sign. So let's take mod on both the sides of this equation that we just formed. So mod of f of y minus f of x is equals to mod of f dash c times mod of y minus x. And so what we can say is that now let's use the relation that has been given to us. So mod of fy minus fx is lesser than equals to now you see this happens for all x in R. So it will happen for c also. So f dash mod of f dash c will be lesser than equals to half. And this is times mod of y minus x. So now in this inequality, let's apply the sequential criteria that we have. So for n greater than equals to 2, we can have a n plus 1 minus a n is equals to. So you remember how those a n plus 1s were defined here. And this will be f of a n minus f of a n minus 1. And why did we take n greater than equals to 2 and not n greater than equals to 1? Because then f of a naught wouldn't have been defined. So f of a n is defined for n greater than equals to 1. So here we have a n minus 1. So that's why we took n greater than equals 2. Okay. And using the relation here that we have got, so this is lesser than equals to half mod a n minus a n minus 1. And now you see this relation that we have here. So in that relation, if you put n equals to 2, so I get a3 minus a2 is lesser than equals to half of a2 minus a1. And we know the value of a1. Now we have a recursive relation. And can we use that relation to bring this mod of a n plus 1 minus a n, this part, 
to have some relation with a2 minus a1 mod and so i claim that for n greater than equals to 1 so this is my claim uh so this a n plus 1 minus a n this is lesser than equals to 1 over 2 to the power n minus 1 a2 minus a1 so how did i get this so just use some uh, recursive approach and you can easily guess this so now uh, i will be inducting on m to prove this so for n equals to 1 you can see that basically it's the equality which is holding for this case so the, that is trivial so next we will be assuming that let it hold for n so that means this is holding true so this is our hypothesis now and we will be proving for n plus 1 and let's see for n plus 1 this becomes a n plus 2 minus of a n plus 1 modulo which is lesser than equals to half of a now we are basically using the relation that we had here so this is lesser than equals to half of a n plus 1 minus a n and now we can use our hypothesis induction hypothesis and say that this is lesser than equals to half of 2 to the power n a2 minus a1 so i am getting 2 to the power 1 uh, over 2 to the power n from one of the half here and one over 2 to the power n minus 1 from there and so i have proved my claim with the it, it, with the help of induction on n and now let's use it to prove our final result now we will be applying our very very famous inequality that is the triangle inequality and so a n plus 1 minus a1 now this will be lesser than equals to now i can write this as a n plus 1 minus a n plus a n minus a n minus 1 and i can continue on like this till i get a2 minus a1 right so that's basically the triangle inequality and i can so let's write this in the sum, summation form so that it looks good uh, so this is k going from 1 to n mod of a k plus 1 minus a k and now let's use the fact that we have proved by induction so this is lesser than equals to so the summation remains the same a going from 1 to n and inside we are using the claim that we have proved so this is 2 to the power 1 over 2 to the power k minus 1 modulo a2 minus a1 as you can see here we are just using that and this is nothing but so see a2 minus a1 mod of that so that's not dependent on k so let's take it out out uh, out of the summation so mod of a2 minus a1 uh and now the summation so now you see that you have a gp series 1 over 2 to the power of k minus 1 and now it will be better if we convert this into an infinite gp series so this is for further lesser than equals to a2 minus a1 summation k going from 1 to infinity 1 over 2 to the power k minus 1 and all of you know that that infinite uh, sum will be nothing but 2 so this becomes 2 times a2 
minus a1 and that's why i uh, took the infinite gp series and so we have that for all n greater than equals to 1 mod of a n now remember we have to find a bound for a n so mod of a n now again our very famous triangle inequality so is lesser than equals to a n minus a 1 why did i take a 1 because i know a 1 i know the value of a 1 that is it's 1 and plus mod of a 1 is lesser than equals to mod of a 1 plus twice of a2 minus a1 i'm using what i've just proved here and so let's take our m to be mod of a1 plus twice of a2 minus a1 uh, and moreover what we know is that uh, a2 is nothing but f of 1 so we can also write this as 2 times f of 1 minus we know the value of a1 that is 1 so now this gives us a value of m for which we have a bound for mod of an for any n greater than equals to 1 where n is a natural number